check this out. This just came in and is awesome. I've had so many people asking about this. Finally got it in, along with some bonus stuff. You're not gonna wanna miss this if you've been looking at the brand new WaySafe True Toe weight distribution hitch system with integrated scale. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is one huge setup and they included a bonus when they sent this to me. They sent me their brand new goose ball that goes into the Ford puck system or the little gooseneck adapter system that comes on this truck with a built-in scale. That is awesome. Check that out and it looks beautiful. If there is one thing that I have to compliment Waysafe on right off the bat, it's just how nice everything looks from all of their welds to their powder coated finish, just to the overall design of everything. Nothing looks like it was hodgepodge together. Nothing looks as if it was a second thought when it came to designing. Everything is incredibly well crafted and manufactured and I have to give them huge props for that. And this is one of those areas that you can't hide, right? If you see problems with how things are manufactured, they stand out instantly. But just look at how clean everything is. I mean, look at those welds. They provided me a two inch shank and a two and a half inch shank as well to use with this. This was all provided for review and evaluation by the folks over at Waysafe. I've had a really good relationship with them. They have some really outstanding products and the fact that they integrate scales into almost everything they have is phenomenal because it's always important to know these numbers. You wanna make sure that you're not overloading anything and the weight and balance is proper for whatever you plan on towing. Now they give you the ability to do that with an actual gooseneck, which is pretty awesome. And again, just look at the quality and craftsmanship behind how this was actually manufactured. Very, very heavy. I mean, nothing here is lightweight. You can see this is a solid shank. So there's no hollowed section here. The only hollow section you have is where you would insert your actual hitch pin. But everything here is absolutely amazing in terms of its quality and, and how they've crafted it. Even these, these trunnion arms, these things are crazy heavy. But taking a closer look at this, you can just see again how everything is kind of set up. And something that's really cool is the ball assembly. On most of these, you have to get this big giant socket to tighten the actual ball into the actual hitch assembly. On this, it's a pin. I mean, how ingenious is that? You simply unscrew it from back here, drop your pin in, tighten it back in place, and you're good to go. One of the other really nice engineering aspects of this assembly is the fact that it's really long, the overall body. And you might think, well, how is that a good thing, right? If you look at the image here, you can just see how long it is. Well, this is a good thing because if you have a tailgate that you want to lower down while you're hitched up, it's typically going to clear your tongue jack by positioning the hitch that much further back. Now, it does add some length. I'm going to say it probably adds, eh, you know, compared to a regular weight distribution hitch, it's probably adding about eight inches of length but it does it in a way that actually benefits you in the case of, of how it's designed. So that's really nice. These shanks are crazy heavy. I think the box on this one said it was like 35 or 40 pounds. And this one's probably a few pounds lighter because it's slightly smaller in diameter in terms of the actual shank, two inch versus two and a half inches. These are gonna be your L brackets that mount to the side of your trailer that your trunnion arms would actually rest on. And this is what creates your weight distribution and your sway control using friction. The friction is the sliding against this portion whenever it makes contact with the actual trunnion arm. Here are your brackets that secure these brackets to the actual A-frame of your trailer. 
And this video isn't an installation video. I just got all this stuff in and I got super excited. So I had to make a quick video going over all of this. The reason why they sent this is because I plan on doing some towing videos with travel trailers, possibly utilizing my wife's expedition or even this truck. And I wanted to provide more insight in terms of weight transfer and how you deal with it from a weight distribution perspective and a sway control perspective. I'm a big fan of sway control hitches from companies like Equalizer, Blue Ox, um, Reese. They all make really good systems. But what they all lack is the one thing that this has, and that is the integrated scale, which is really the key behind weight distribution, right? It's finding out what that perfect amount of weight transfer to the back of your vehicle is, and to make sure that whatever you have in your trailer is properly balanced for whatever you plan on towing it with. The system itself from a weight distribution and a sway control isn't significantly different than some of the other systems on the market. They utilize friction, which again, it's the sliding of this arm over this L bracket when it's mounted to the side of your A-frame. And that downward force right here is what creates that friction and makes it difficult for the truck and the trailer to pivot. And that is in essence what controls sway. The weight distribution is the pressure that this pushes down on these L brackets to essentially create kind of a bowing or an arching effect between the back of the truck and the front of the trailer, giving it that bow effect, which is the weight distribution. It's moving weight from the back axle of the truck to the front axle of the truck and from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer, which levels out your truck and makes for a safer and more stable towing situation. And then you have your large helper bar here, which helps position these in place on top of your L brackets. But again, this is probably one of my favorite pieces out of all of this, because if you have a factory gooseneck mount in your vehicle, which I do on my truck, this just drops into place. And now you have the ability to see what your actual weight is on a gooseneck trailer, or whenever we get our next fifth wheel, whenever we throw a gooseneck type connection on the front of it, we'll be able to see specifically what the pin weight is transferring over. And one thing I really like about Waysafe products versus some of the other companies that produce scales is the fact that their scale can hold the weight of a trailer or the pin weight of whatever you plan on putting on top of it without decalibrating which means I can tow a trailer around on top of this. It's gonna give me the actual weight, but when I remove it, I don't have to worry about that weight decalibrating the scale. I use a way safe hitch on the back of my truck all the time. I just leave it on my truck all the time. And that's one thing I love about it. I take the trailer off, it resets to zero. I put the trailer back on and I can see how much tongue weight I'm transferring. That is really what's special about this product and they've done a phenomenal job. Anyways guys, I plan on doing a video of installing this, getting it all set up and showing you how it works. Um, I wanted to have it on hand. Um, I've been talking to the folks at Waysafe for a while and they got one of these in and they said, you know what, let's send it over to JD for review and evaluation. And I really appreciate that. So big shout out to the folks at Waysafe for supporting my channel and providing this for review. Anyways guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel so you guys are able to see this thing in action whenever we hitch it up to a trailer and we get it all dialed in and calibrated. I'm really excited to use this. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.